let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. K.A. with five, with four, with three to shoot, with two, with one. He takes the jumper and swishes it at the shot clock buzzer. A clutch shot by Kevin Anderson. Teams up with it. He's picked by David Gonzalez, who drives to the basket, lays it up. He missed it, but Harper tips it in. 45 to go in the opening half. Anderson, great pounce pass to Giroux for a layup. Terrific do- job by Dan to cut through the paint, and, and Kevin threw that pass almost like a quarterback. Jones drives, steps back. Gonzo stays with him, takes it to the basket, and Gonzalez blocks the shot, and it goes off of Jones. At the three-point line, he's going to drive baseline. Defender falls down, no whistle, and Gonzo drives the baseline and lays it in. Off three, Rhode Island just won. Martell whips it underneath to Kevin Smith for a layup on a terrific backdoor cut. And that pass got there in a hurry, too. That had some pace on it. Without a pass at that fast. He need to go first half. 15-12, Rhode Island. Martell drives. No look. Bounce pass to Ryan Butler for a layup. And the Spiders are starting to get some great looks at the hoop. A lot of confidence to back out. Nowhere to go with it. Seven to shoot. Gonzalez will from way downtown. Swish! And a tie game with eight minutes to go in the first half. Well, that was Boston way downtown. He was beyond the NBA range. You know, we talked off air, Bob, about how Gonzo was Kevin a little... Smith, Ryan Butler. Small team, but athletic for Richmond. Gonzo from even deeper. Swishes another one from on the Ram logo. Almost at midcourt. Yeah, he was, you know, more than midway between the rings that time toward midcourt. And again, he... Butler, left side Gonzalez, has a notion for another three. Instead, passes it up to Harper, who hits a turnaround two from the left of the lane. Talk about a smooth move of his own right there. Caught it, turn, pivot, shot, all in one motion. Gives it up to Brothers, right wing. Now to Harper, underneath the basket, Smith. Out to Butler for a wide open three, and he bags it. Ryan Butler from the corner. Just like the coaches told us, the Spiders have traditionally had success running their offense against Rhode Island, and they are getting open looks and good looks. Against. Spiders by four, five minutes to go in the half. Gonzalez with a steal, and the Spiders have a fast break. Gonzo down the middle to Butler right side. Takes one dribble, shoots the three, and scores! Ryan Butler in transition, his second three, and the Spiders come charging off their bench as Rhode Island calls a timeout. And Jim Barron came charging off his bench after that three went down. Visit Lowe's.com slash community. Spider ball. Harper spins in the lane. Puts up the right hand shot and it's good. Bob Harp's one of six different spiders in the scoring column already so they've really distributed the ball as well. And another one in the paint. Gonzalez down the right wing at the three point line. Fakes the three. Drives into the lane. The floater is good by Gonzalez. Down the lane. Gonzo undoubtedly feels like he can take whoever's guarding him tonight and he's done it very well to this point. Offense. Angle pass right to Anderson. K.A. top of the key. A high arcing three. Swish by Kevin Anderson. Rhode Island tried to switch on defense. They couldn't do it quick enough. They gave Kevin just a little bit of an opening and he, and he really took advantage of it. The hoop to Butler. Dumps it in the low block to Harper. Harper bounces it off on the right side for a jumper from the short corner by Dan Giroux. And he knows. Giroux angle pass right. Gonzalez fakes the three. Drives into the lane and lays it in for two. Nice little hesitation move, Gonzo. Looked like he was going to pass it. Rhode Island didn't know what he was going to do and just gave him a wide open lane to the basket there. Gonzalez, Kevin Smith drives down the lane. Back pass to Giroux for three. Good. What a pass by Kevin Smith. A no-look drop pass on the bounce to Giroux, who's got nine. 44-37. Smith finds Butler top of the key. Ryan with a bounce pass underneath the basket to Kevin Smith who lays it in with one hand. That wasn't just a bounce pass. That was a thread the needle bounce pass. That was a perfectly thrown ball and what a nice athletic move by Smith finds Butler and now Gonzalez. 
David drives right down the lane and lays it up and in as the Spiders broke pressure. Terrific quarter awareness. The secondary break there. Gonzo saw there was nobody in the paint and he could go one on one. In the backcourt comes up with it. The Spiders now have a five on four break and Kevin Anderson switches a three from the far left corner and the Spiders have their biggest lead at 51-43 with 12 minutes to go. Uh, he knocked that down from the K.A. surveys the man-to-man -man defense. Ten on the shot clock. Spiders spread the floor for Anderson. Three-point line right with five, with four. Crossover left to right. Jumper switch. Wow. You knew it was coming. You still couldn't stop it, you know? At least we knew it was coming. And we, didn't was coming. To, we didn't want to stop it either. The crossover patented move by K.A. And take it left inside the arc. Down the lane to the basket. And Harper swats it out of bounds. Bringing us to a timeout. His 27th block of the season. Around a little bit here. K.A. makes a move. Down the lane. Finds Ryan Butler. Into the lane. Twist. Turns. Up. Good. That Ryan is, Butler. That's his patented move, Bob. He's made that on a few big games this year for the Spiders. Goes hard across the lane left and pirouettes right and puts it up with the one hand with the right hand. And softly, it's Kevin Anderson at the midcourt line. Anderson takes it right side all the way down the lane to the basket. Passes it back out to Smith. Smith to Jarrell from the top of the key. He cans a three-pointer. Dan Jarrell has a dozen. First time he's been in double figures since he had 11 against Duquesne. Way back at the start of conference play. Spiders knocking down open looks. Harper back as well. Anderson, left side, three-point line to Smith, gets around his man, drives all the way to the basket, and finger rolls it up and in. Well, he got a terrific screen there from Dan Giroux. Giroux had a man on his back and just stood still in the middle of the paint. And Smitty, I mean, it was parting the Red Sea there. He went all the way to the basket with nobody near him. So back to Anderson. K.A., top of the key to the free-throw line to Kevin Smith. Gets around his man again. Back to Gonzalez. A long three swish by Gonzalez to give Richmond the lead. 67-66. Gonzo has 19. We talk about the game that Smitty has played. Gonzo standing out there on the perimeter, and I think in his mind knows Gonzo's the guy. Across midcourt with 45 seconds to go. One-point Richmond lead. Anderson spin dribbled on Mejia who went for the steal didn't get it Spiders will shoot time 15 on the shot clock 35 game clock K.A. at midcourt with the right hand dribble drives sideline right gets a screen left from Dan Giroux but dribble drives right to the basket up off the glass and good Kevin Anderson with a driving hoop on the right side three point Richmond lead 20 seconds to go Mejia, top of the key, caught the inbounds pass coming. All the way back to James. He's going to have to throw it up. No, he goes left side to Cothran. He misses the three-pointer. Spiders win. Richmond wins it 69-67 as Cothran missed a three from the left wing at the buzzer. And the Spiders have survived and have knocked off the Rams of Rhode Island.